What is ETH and ETH staking? ETH stands for Ethereum, one of the top cryptocurrencies in the market after Bitcoin. Since we're focused on staking, we're not gonna get too deep into the technicals of how ETH works. But if you've ever heard the term smart contract, for example, that's a technology that gained traction with Ethereum. ETH was launched in 2015 and also supports dApps, which stands for decentralized apps, as well as NFTs, in case you remember those incredibly popular monkeys from a few years back. Ethereum began as proof of work, but eventually switched to proof of stake. And if that sentence didn't make sense, we made a video you can go check out explaining it. Obviously today we're focusing on ETH. In proof of stake, rewards can be earned as a result of staking your holdings. Staking effectively just means setting a certain amount of ETH aside as collateral to help verify transactions on the blockchain. Typically, 32 ETH is needed in order to participate in staking. Trezor, however, has partnered with Everstake to allow you to add your ETH to a larger pool to meet that requirement. The minimum requirement for entering a staking pool is 0.1 ETH. The reward amount currently sits around 4%, but this amount can fluctuate up and down. This is also known as APY, or annual percentage yield in the finance industry. Honestly, I don't understand why saying per year isn't good enough for them. I feel like we've allowed ourselves as a society to accept more complex terms just so people can act more sophisticated. But that's not what this video is about. One of the most secure methods for staking is via your Trezor device. So in the next video, we'll guide you through specific steps on how you can do it yourself.